We're gonna look at a few commonly overlooked transfer modes here that are really cool. First of all, if you're not seeing this option for modes, you can toggle the switches and modes and make sure that you're seeing this. So I have this rectangle shape here and I'm going to change the mode to stencil alpha. What this is gonna do is cut out the background. So everything underneath this layer, no matter how many different things we have, it will only show what is within this shape. So it acts like a little cookie cutter um, and knocks out the transparency of anything below this layer. If we switch this to silhouette alpha, it does the opposite. So it's gonna punch a hole wherever this matte layer is. This layer can be any shape, it can be animated, it can do whatever you want. There's a thousand ways you could use this. So these two alpha modes, they work using the alpha channel. So it's looking at what is transparent versus what is solid. The other mode here, the silhouette luma is based on the brightness. If we change this to white, you'll see it cuts out completely. If we change it to black, it does nothing. So you could use this with some other effects, say like fractal noise. Silhouette luma is gonna cut out anything that's white and stencil luma is gonna cut out anything that's black. Mess with those four different modes. It's okay if you get them all confused. I usually just click around until I get the one that does what I want. By the way, you should spend some time going through all these different transfer modes to see what sort of effects they can do. Some really weird stuff in here and some cool stuff you can do with compositing. I realize I say stuff a lot. Pro tip, if you use the keyboard shortcut shift plus and shift minus, it will toggle through these. So you can quickly switch through and find one that does something that you like. Thank you.